I'm Holly McKay, and welcome to another edition of LA Loaded. I'm here with the beautiful actress, author, producer of many things, and of course, the president of the Farrah Fawcett Foundation, Alana Stewart. Thanks for coming out, Alana. Oh, thank you. It's exciting to be here. Looking forward to it. Alana is no stranger to firearms. Well, I grew up in Texas, so my grandmother kept a loaded 38 by the side of her bed out in the country the whole time I was growing up, and um, I have one as well that I keep by the side of my bed. And feels strongly about her Second Amendment rights. I don't see the reason that I should need to own an assault weapon, let's put it that way, but I'm definitely for, for the Second Amendment rights, and, and I don't think you should judge all gun owners because of a few lunatics either. Today we're joined once again by our expert, world champion competition shooter, Taryn Butler. He's going to share his tips and tricks to getting the best shot. I have them set up over there if you want to go check them out. Let's do it. First, Taryn checks out Alana's personal gun, a Smith & Wesson 38 Special. This is an excellent gun for the house. Um, so reliable. Revolvers are super reliable. Uh, easy for women to, to operate. Double action. Uh, trigger pull or cock it back for a more accurate, like, precise shot. Right. You've got an excellent gun. But yours actually got adjustable sights on it, which is nice, because you can actually sight it in dead on. Most of them don't have that. Yeah, no, I like that, because you can really get a good aim. Then we see the Glock 42, which can fit just about anywhere. This is the Glock 42. It's a really tiny, feel that. Oh, that's cool. This is great. A little tiny Glock. Love that. 380. So it holds seven rounds of 380. You can fit it in your evening bag. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Before we start shooting, Taryn wants to see Alana's stance. That's uh, pretty good. You've got the Dirty Harry grip going on. Dirty Harry did that in, in Dirty Harry. It was pretty cool. <laughs> but to make it a little bit I easier... I just do it to like steady, make sure my arm is steady. And offers his suggestions. Move this hand up around the front. Because what this will do, instead of trying to stop a shockwave from coming down your arm, you can now control the recoil of the gun, putting your hand around the front real solid. But first I want to get your right hand a little higher on the gun. The higher you are on a gun, the more you control the recoil. Now I want you to stand, if I push you back, you'll fall. So I want you to stop me, like push me against me. So then now you're developing the stance, okay. an aggressive forward stance. And you're going to look down the top of the gun, and this gun has just one green dot in the front. Right. Instead of orange and this and that everywhere, that becomes just too much information. Yeah. All you think about is seeing the green dot on the target and squeeze the trigger. Alan is now ready to take aim. Okay. Now it's ready to fire. It's got 23 rounds in it now. And then put the green dot on the target, squeeze the trigger. Can I do it now? Yeah. Good, you shot him in the shoulder. Ha! Good, now let's pick up the pace a little bit. Oh my God, what do you want for? I really am not dirty hairy, you know. <laughs> she proves to be a natural. Dead. Good. Good. Perfect. Did I get them all? Got them all. Hey! Awesome. Yes. That was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. That nobody does Annie that. Annie Oakley. <laughs> yeah. That was really good. That's that's uh, 20 yards the farthest target. That's really far. It's a great honor to be able to shoot with you. It's great to shoot get with some, you. Get some some <laughs> great tips from you. Then it's my turn. Before heading home, I check in with Alana about her time on the range. So tell me, Lana, how was your experience uh, shooting the Glocks? Oh, it was great. I've never shot one before, and, and I had a great teacher, obviously, and uh, I guess I did pretty good, yeah. huh? You did really good, yeah. And she has a warning to anyone who may try to break into her home. <laughs> Don't mess with Texas. <laughs> <laughs> 